Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4 BMG HOA Ham. For those of you who own the Chameleon Antenna Magnetic Loop Series, the F Loop 2.0 or 3.0, I've got some exciting news for you today. We've spent some time together on the workbench talking about how to install this motorized remote tuner onto your control box. And then we put the mag loop in the attic space at the QTH and we started making contacts all around the world. You adjust the SWR here manually using that RT1, which is essentially a remote control to control that motor and dial up or dial down to get your SWR right where you need it. About the only thing that could be better is if we just hit a couple of buttons and all of a sudden the chameleon antenna system automatically tuned itself. If you hang on for the duration of this 30 second clip, you're going to see that's exactly what's happening. I've left 10 meters where I was resonant and gone to 20 meters where SWR is terrible and I initiated an automatic tune cycle and I end up with excellent SWR. So here we are, May 8th, 2023. If you head on over to the Chameleon Antenna website, you're going to see that they're introducing the automatic loop remote tuner, and you can download the instructions to see how to use it. Of course, I'm going to show you now. Thanks to Chameleon Antenna for continuing to develop accessories and gear to go along with our MagLoop antennas and for providing this to me for my testing and evaluation. Now let me show you how to set this up. This is sophisticated gear that's really quite simple to use. The instructions are straightforward. We have a schematic of the setup. I'll illustrate the setup with my 991A. And after I show you the simple setup, I'll show you how to actually tune it on the 991A with some commentary. We'll show you what actually happens at the antenna during the tune, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. I have everything set up here in the correct orientation. Again, it's very straightforward. Just to make things simple, let's go ahead and connect the control cable first. Then we're going to connect the coax, and this coax is going directly to my mag loop, which today is on the back porch. And then I'm going to connect the SWR unit to my 991A. Radio goes to the 991A, Antenna goes to the mag loop, and this control cable then connects here to the RT1 remote tuner unit and goes into the SWR port. And now we take our power cable that came with the RT1 originally and the remote tuner that we attached to our control box, and that brings power into the unit. And that's it. I don't know how to get any more simple than this. The instructions do specifically go through how to read the status indicator light and when you would do a tune up and a tune down. And that's something that becomes pretty intuitive after you do it a couple of times. Let me show you exactly what's occurring here. I've already checked on frequency. Nobody is here. KD4 BMG testing, testing, KD4 BMG testing, no response required. You can see that I have a pretty good SWR. Let me go over into AM and just show you. Uh, we're about 1.25 to one. That's decent SWR. So if we wanna jump back on down to 10 meters, let's pick the band. And uh, my 991A already jumped into AM mode. I'm running five watts out. Let's go ahead and turn on my remote tuner that's communicating with the motor that's on the mag loop. And then here's where the magic is happening right here. Let me show you that we do have high SWR. And now let's just go and press the jog button and the tune button. You can see that my red light comes up. As soon as I press uh, my PTT, it goes green. It'll stay green while it's doing its tuning. All the tuning is happening here. It's sending a message to this to continue sending power to the motor. And now it's off. And here is my perfect SWR. KD4 BMG testing, testing. KD4 BMG testing, no response required. Perfect SWR. Okay, everyone, let's look at the excitement at the antenna itself when you initiate a tune cycle. Well, nothing's going to be exciting here, but listen closely and you'll hear a little whir of that motor. Yep, there it is. You can hear it if you're sitting right next to the mag loop. It's not loud. You could carry on a conversation with someone sitting right next to you and this wouldn't be an interruption at all. That noise completes as soon as the tune cycle on the RT1 is finished. 
What are my final thoughts on the new gear that Chameleon has given us to work with and use with our Magloop antennas? Well, I think it's fantastic. I expect nothing else from Chameleon antenna. For those of us that operate backyard portable, or we go remote during field day, or we take our Magloop to a POTA, this is perfect gear to take and allow us to tune up on a very frequent basis. Whereas we're used to tuning that knob and keeping our eyes on our screen or listening for the noise level to know that we're becoming resonant. Now we have something to do that very easily. I don't know yet how Chameleon Antenna is going to configure this kit and this set. That hasn't been disclosed yet, whether it will be as individual components or as part of a kit. I don't know that. I just know that it works. In my case, you've seen me perhaps use this in my QTH. I live in a homeowners association. And as soon as I got the RT1, I took my mag loop up to the attic space and I've been communicating all around the world. It's worked fantastic. What you don't see in those videos is the fact that right underneath my mag loop antenna to the left is my main house electrical panel. And to the right underneath that mag loop antenna is my house HVAC unit. So my gear in my home creates so much interference that I couldn't get this to tune on a consistent basis. And I've had to use that remote tuner in my attic space. So while this may work for 99% of you, for those of you who really want to get nuts and put this in an extreme environment, you may have some electrical interference if you get near all the house gear that I did. Good stuff, great gear, works. That's exactly what we expect from our friends over at Chameleon Antenna, isn't it? Hope you found this useful, friend. Talk to you soon, 73.